Hello everyone, this is Anton and in this video I want to get into two plugins that will help you enhance your use of the canvas within Obsidian. Now in the previous video I did show one plugin called the Advanced Canvas plugin that helps kind of take the canvas to the next level and add some additional features that you would not get from the, you know, the default canvas within Obsidian. In this particular video, these are two different plugins. One's going to be with AI, so AI is a big thing in this particular uh, time and every app is getting AI included in it. And Obsidian does have some plugins out there to leverage AI. And I wanted to put one in here that's pretty simple to use on and leverage it with the canvas. And then there's another one where it uh, it's really just about copying data you know around on your canvas either from um, other cards that are on the canvas or from other files and just thinking about doing it in a different way here the two plugins let's go ahead and get into the plugin area here that you'll need to install one is called the augmented canvas so just go ahead in there and install and enable this one here and the next one is going to be the a block and let's do copy the copy block link plugin that's shown here so go ahead and download this one as well now the copy link block it, um, block plugin here is pretty simple to do but for the the actual augmented canvas one we're going to have to go to open AI and get the in an API key to put in here. So all you need to do is just log into your OpenAI account. If you don't have one, just go ahead and create one. And then you go into your API key area, hit create new secret key and create a key, give it a name and make sure you save it because once you close that particular window after you create it, it doesn't show you the full key again. You'll have to delete it and make a new one. So just once you create that key, make sure you save it and keep it somewhere where it, it can remain secret, your password manager, whatever. Now let's go back into Obsidian. We will, you paste that API key from OpenAI within this, this uh, window here. And that's pretty much all you have to do in order to get this thing going. You can come into the settings here and add additional information if you want to um, get into this uh, get a little bit deeper into the plugin and add more information and prompts so on and so forth but for this this video here i'm going to keep it simple now there is one thing to note here too with this plugin you can't change the actual models that is in here that's being used um, i wish this would you could actually change this to the latest model within uh, OpenAI but unfortunately you cannot right now with this plugin. And the image uh, model for the images, I found it doesn't work for me. So we, I'll show this here in my example. Now let's go ahead and give a quick use case for the, the AI piece of it here. So if you're in your canvas, obviously you're gonna be putting in a lot of information in here and trying to glean knowledge from it. If you want to maybe leverage AI to get some insights about a specific topic or something like that there, you can always go ahead and do that and you can ask a question. So you can just put in a card like what is, um, just put what is AI in general here. And if you come in here and you hit the AI button there, it will go ahead and spit out some answers for you. Now, another use case here is if you have some information already in your canvas that you want to, again, pull more information out of, you could simply just click on there, um, say, let's ask a question, summarize this, and give it to OpenAI, and it will go ahead and summarize things or expand on different topics that you have in there. And it doesn't just work on, say, one particular card at a time. You can link multiple cards 
and and get this the same type of functionality. Let's show this in say a, a, a mathematical context. So if I come in here and I say what is um, just a plus b here as two different variables. One thing to note is that it if you don't feed it the actual information, it's not going to know what any of this is. So if I go ahead and just click on there to hit you know open AI with this particular question it's not really going to know what to do with it until you connect the information to this particular card so if i come in here and i create a card and i say that a equals eight over here and i create another card where b equals five put equals five here space those out and just to show you that you have to connect these Let's go ahead, now that the cards are on the canvas, I'll go ahead and hit this again, and we'll see that it still gives that same vanilla uh, general answer that it can't really give you a specific answer here because there are no um, defined variables for this. And if I was to come in here and then connect both of these cards up here and then hit the AI button, you, we can see we get an, an exact answer because we've linked these two cards up to this here and it knows what A and B is defined as um, based off what we gave it. Now you can do the same thing if you have different types of information within these cards um, on different topics. You can link those up to a single question so that it combines all that information up into this um, question and it understands that context. So that's one, again, a different way you can use the AI plugin. You can also, if you already say you have, and I showed this over here, I think already, instead of just hitting the Ask AI, if you haven't put a question inside the card as a prompt, you can actually come in here and hit this second one here where it will be, say, Ask question with AI and it will prompt you for a particular uh, question on here and uh, let's do write it in bullets I'll just put a, a simple thing in there and it will take the information that was in that card there and it'll go ahead and write it in bullets as I put here and then the link to this particular card will have what the prompt was um, into OpenAI that you sent to OpenAI. Now we can also come in here and we can have here uh, AI generated questions where you can click on this link here and it will generate some questions that can be asked. I have noticed that some of the time it just does this loading thing here but if you come off that card you come back to it and you click on it it will actually show the questions um, the way they should show. But I have seen that sometime initially when you click on that card, it'll show loading, but it'll never remove the loading part and show you the questions. You have to actually go off of it and then come back in here in order to see the questions. Um, the plugin also from it, you know, it's supposed to let you create flashcards and generate images. And I've mentioned this earlier but generating images I haven't seen work in this case it will actually send this um, API call to OpenAI but I haven't seen it actually generate the images after the fact and you will get charged on you know your OpenAI account for this this API call. So this is something that I think needs to be worked on because obviously it's going to cost people um, money even though it's you know it's fairly cheap to make these API calls to open AI. It still is a, is a cost and if it's not working then you're basically just giving open AI money for free here. Okay so the next plugin that I wanted to get into is one where you take information from, say, you have a larger file that you want to pull information from. 
So I have this file. It can also be a card. It doesn't have to actually be a, a you know an actual file itself. It can just be a card with information. But you want to just pull parts, you know, just a block of the information out. Typically, you can just hit Control C or right click and copy and then just paste that information into your new card over here and you know it's that you can end your day that by doing it this way right but by doing it this way what you're doing is basically just copying information from one location into another and this could you know you could be duplicating information like if I convert this into a file when you do a search within your vault and this one here is also a file now you're going to have that same content in two different places now if you this is what you want then that's fine but by leveraging the copy block link plugin you can actually do this in a different way to where you instead of actually replicating this data you're just embedding the information um, from one location to another just like you would you know if you're doing these type of embeds from file to file so let's come in here and let's take we'll take this initial information here you can see I already have a block reference number in there we'll go ahead and remove that and we'll recreate this so now with that plugin installed all I have to do is select the block and then come in here and right click and I have this copy block um, embed and if I copy this block embed I can come in here and paste it now over in here and we can see that that link is here and it's set up so that it does a preview so now what I'm, I'm looking at here is the same information um, from over here but it's in a an embedded block that's linked to the original source data over here now what this gives you is that if I come in here and I have made some changes to the data, it also updates the card here that you have referenced to that particular block, which could be what you want, may not be what you want, but I think this is a, a, at least something that you can put in your tool belt where when you need to use this, you can use this. Now you can also copy full headings. So if you need this particular heading and all the bullets or all the information underneath the heading, you can do the same thing. So we click into that heading fill and let's go ahead and copy this heading here. And we can see that the, actually let's do it on one at the top just so you can see the entire menu here. You can see that we can go ahead and copy the heading embed now. And if I copy that heading embed and I paste that over here, what we'll get is the heading and all the information under the heading um, as well. So that's two different ways you can copy your, your block information, either at from the heading standpoint or um, just copying one of the unique blocks on its own. And this information is linked to the original source. So again, if you make any changes to the source information, it will change in this card. All right, so those are two plugins to enhance your use of the Canvas. Tell me what you think about these two plugins. And if you have some plugins that you know about that you use on the Canvas within Obsidian to enhance you know, your workflow, Put those in the comments as well. I'd like to take a look at them if I have not seen those. All right, so that's going to end it for this particular video. If you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, have a nice day.